So I've got another late start to my weekend morning here. This is Saturday morning, just barely still. Uh, part of the problem is that I'm not a morning person, but the other part of the problem is I parked wrong last night. And you probably can't tell it from the angle of the camera here, but the nose of the van is a little bit lower than the back end of the van. And because I slept with my head at the pointing toward the nose of the van, my head was lower than my feet, and that always means I wake up with a headache. Usually I wake up with a migraine, so I'm lucky uh, to start the day, but um, yeah, <laughs> I really need to pay more attention to that. I kind of knew it was that way when I parked, but I was, I was tired and I just wanted to get to bed, and I just convinced myself that, yeah, it was level. Yeah, well, it wasn't level. So I got the important things done this morning. I took a bird bath, and I made some coffee. I finally cracked into this bag of uh, static branded coffee. Just This is just the most awesome stuff. This is interesting stuff because the name of it is Dark Star Espresso, but it's not a dark roast, and to me it's just perfect. Um, I actually like the other bag of static coffee, if you saw that uh, before, that I got um, a little bit better than this one, but this one I actually like so much, I'm drinking it without uh, half and half. I normally always drink my coffee with cream. This one I actually enjoy just black straight up. So since the weather has been so bad lately and I've been stuck in the van most of the time, uh, this weekend, my top priority is to be out of the van as much as possible. It's supposed to be a fairly good weekend. Weather in the high 40s, uh, no snow and no rain. I'm hoping that that's true. Uh, it is supposed to be cloudy uh, with some sun. So that's good enough for me uh, to be out of the van. Uh, I'm going to bundle up. Um, I got my new Patagonia sweater on and I'm going to put my down coat on so I should be fine even though 40s are cold to me. But um, I decided to go out to a farmer's market. It's still a little early for farmer's markets in the area but uh, there is supposed to be a really good one open out in Issaquah. Issaquah. Issaquah? Um... We're going to go out there. Well, that was a fail. So, the internet and the website says that the farmer's market is running today between 9 and 2. But uh, it's not here. Apparently it's supposed to be right behind me, but not there. Nobody knows anything about it. I'm going to find something else to do. So this isn't a farmer's market, but this is one of my favorite stores. So this will do. Is there any wonder why this is one of my favorite stores? Look at that view. So Issaquah here is only about 15 minutes away from Seattle. And it's really fantastic up here because it's a little bit mountainous. There's lots of great views around and there's a bunch of hiking trails. Um, now, while I would like to go hiking, and of course my goal this weekend is to be outside as much as possible, the one problem with the trails up here in Issaquah uh, are because we are so close to Seattle, it's just a short drive, um, unless you get up and find a parking spot early, you're not going to find a parking spot to park. So while I would like to be out hiking, and while that's my goal is to be outside. Uh, I know that it's just not going to work uh, for me to go hiking because there's no way for me to park at this time of the day. Since I got a late start to the day, that's just 
the way it goes. Um, I am enjoying just doing my errands. I'm doing them as slowly as possible <laughs> uh, just because it is just so lovely. No snow, sunshine. Yeah, I'm a happy, happy van dweller this weekend. This little town is surprisingly busy. I was uh, staying up here thinking that I would avoid some of the heavy traffic of Seattle, but um, yeah, it's about the same up here. I parked up away from uh, the downtown area up here because it was, uh, well, it's quiet here, but not downtown. So if it's going to be heavy traffic and all, I might as well just uh, head back into the city, I think. So this is probably not the best vantage point, and I'm zoomed in as much as I can be, but you can see there's still some snow up on the mountain or hill. I don't know which, which it is. Uh, what you probably can't see is there's a bunch of paragliders up there. I didn't know that they did paragliding up here. It has got to be cold paragliding up there. It has got to be really cold. But it's nice down here. Beautiful, in fact. So I've come over to REI uh, because I've needed a new iPhone case. And I've just been a little bit too cheap to buy a decent one. Uh, but I am an REI member. And this time of the year, REI gives out a dividend. Uh, so they give give you back a little percentage of what you've bought. So that ended up being about 25 bucks for me. So I went to REI and I found an iPhone case. I went to REI specifically because I wanted uh, a specific case. Um, but I ended up skipping that case because it didn't fit my phone very well. And I ended up going with this one. It's a Lander uh, Moab case I think is is the model and I like it it's kind of it's kind of grippy it's got um, a little bit of texture to it uh, so hopefully I like it um, I've been going caseless with my phone for over a month now and it's probably not a good idea because you know that they're all glass they break very easily so I figured with the dividend, it only cost me about 15 bucks or so, maybe a little more than 15 bucks for this case, even though it's a really good quality case. So we'll see how it goes. I'm going to put it on now and use it from now on. I think since I'm so close to Seattle Coffee Gear, I'm going to go back and try to find uh, some of that static LA traffic blend coffee that I like. So I, I'm just so close that I can't not stop in. So hopefully they have some. I really cannot believe how nice it is out. It is a little bit chilly, but uh, with all the sun, wow, it, it is just comfortable. And no snow makes it much more comfortable too, I guess. So I can't come in here and not do the uh, little tasting flight that they do since it is free. So I'm going to start with uh, Blue Beard, and because I take the Narrows Bridge all the time, I thought that this would be a good one to try just because of the name. This one just looked good. I don't know why, it just looked good. Maybe it's the cherry. And that one is... Oh yeah, so that one was Coava, who I've heard great things about. So I wasn't real crazy about those first three, so they offered to do me some more samples. This place is just amazing. Of course, they still aren't charging me anything, so it's it's just, just awesome that they do this. So I picked a Guatemalan from Bluebeard and a Peru, which is a special uh, bean variety. All right, all those coffees I tried, and I'm just going to go with the basic static LA Traffic Blend because um, 
this one is just better than everything else and yeah probably time to wash the van I don't want to do that today This may seem like a pretty simple dinner, but my goodness, this was awesome. That grilled cheese, which I'm still working on, is great. But that soup is beyond great. It's full of herbs, which is the way pea soup should be. My goodness, I should have bought a large. Yeah, I couldn't help myself. I really don't know how many more of these Saturday vlogs I'm going to do because if you haven't noticed so far, uh, I basically don't do much of anything on the weekends. My weekends are usually uh, the same in that what I want to do is pretty much nothing and so that's what I do. Yeah, what, what did I do today? I made coffee, I bought coffee, I sampled coffee. Yeah. That's about it. Um, anyway, tomorrow there's a little van meetup in uh, Seattle, which is why I've been hanging around the city. I don't know if I'll film any of that. Uh, I really don't enjoy shoving my camera, well, my phone, but you know, my camera in, uh, in people's faces. Uh, when I'm meeting people, I really just like to uh, just meet them. But you never know. I may shoot a little bit of something and put it up. But this is probably going to be it for the weekend. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and a great rest of the week. And I really hope it starts warming up. But today was a pretty nice day. Now it's starting to get cold again. But um, yeah, we're getting back to the weather that uh, I like a little bit better. Let's be done with that snow, right? I sure hope so anyway. Hey, thanks for watching everybody.